Capricorn, this is your love and relationship reading while Venus is in the sign of Pisces, and she'll be there from April 5th through May the 2nd. And while she's there, she'll bring new benefits into your life, but she'll also change the way you relate and perhaps what you're attracted to. Now, the card in the center is your annual Love Scope card. So if you haven't visited my blog, please do so and read about this card and the influence it'll have over your love life. Right now, though, the focus is this King of Pentacles, who you may feel has turned his back or is unaware of some things. Perhaps you feel some anxiety about a situation where maybe you've been operating under an illusion or you just have worry that something is not real. Because the illusion card can indicate that maybe this is a relationship based predominantly on the superficial, on status or social climbing. And there's a concerted effort to appear something that equates to what we would deem attractive or successful. So there's too much focus on the material, the outward appearance, appearing financially stable, attractive, educated, smart, happy, whatever it is that you feel is an ideal. Maybe you're looking for someone like that, or maybe you have concern about representing yourself as such. But something about this King of Pentacles uh, may not be exactly as it appears on the surface. Now, there is a very strong desire. Maybe you're anxious to get something going. You want to establish a stable relationship. This King is one that's most likely to settle down. And you may be very discerning, very... Uh, picky about who you get involved with. You want your values, your belief system to align. And so it may be that you're worried that something is more superficial than anything else. Again, this could all be in your imagination, but you are considering that, or perhaps that is actually the case. Now, this is a king who, you know, is a provider. He takes care of those closest to him, you know. So he, he wants a family, he wants, you know, the whole nine yards, the children, the house, all of that. And so if this is equating to you, then, you know, maybe you're looking for something solid in another person. Now, this isn't someone who's very emotionally overt. They, they're not going to display a whole lot. The way that they tend to love is through material, providing, paying the bills. Uh, and as somebody who prefers to let their actions speak to show how they feel. So they may buy gifts or do some kind of service for their loved one rather than sharing their innermost thoughts and feelings and perhaps this is why maybe you feel some anxiety. Maybe you're not hearing the words. Maybe this person has a different style of loving. Uh, but love is freely given, and it's warmly received. It's just that you're not going to get a whole lot of emotional speeches. And you can't expect to be caught up in some kind of whirlwind of passion either. This is somebody who is, you know, slowly building something. Uh, but there's a steadiness to it, a reliance, something you can depend on. So, you know, you and a partner may want to nourish, to protect each other. Uh, you know, this person works very hard. And so support that shows up in ways of caring helps this person balance, get back on track now. This could be somebody that offers you financial stability. Uh, they're very realistic about money, about possessions. This is someone that is firmly established and they're, they want to help you, assist you. They're very generous. 
Uh, they want to see you flourish the same way that they do. And so if this is somebody that says they're going to do something for you, they're going to buy you a house or they're going to buy you a car, they mean that and they mean that right now. But the challenge here is that it's so easy to get caught up in the material that you start to measure your relationship and whether it's worthy in terms of tangible success. So when you start to look at wealth or sex or power as an end in themselves, then you remain unfulfilled. The goal is the relationship, and no amount of money can make up for a lack of love or the lack of companionship. Now, if this is a new love that's entering your life, you can expect somebody who's serious, who loves children, they love pet, they love pets, they love nature. As, as a matter of fact, you may spend a lot of time in nature, although you're not going to be doing anything that is uh, thrill-seeking or edgy. But this is a relationship that can bring you some comfort and financial security. There is a tendency toward overwork or too strong of a sense of obligation, responsibility, or duty that may put, you know, a damper on your relationship. You may not be as happy. Maybe there's a strong focus on acquisition or moving up the ladder of success or appearing as something, appearing as a power couple. Uh, but... The key is to help one another, like slow down, learn to relax, enjoy each other, and enjoy the things that you've earned or, or you're, that you've built. So, you know, there's, there's something twofold here. Either there's a total focus on money, materialism, selfishness, greed, to uh, the detriment of all else, or this is a relationship that has the potential for something solid, but something about it is making you anxious or stressed out. And again, it could be the constant need to project a particular image or the constant worry over whether someone is only focused on looks or money or perhaps the worry about achieving a goal together. Uh, so, again, you're looking for a solid relationship, but what is that built on? It has to be built on more than just the external. All right, Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please connect with me on my blog, my website, and social media.